Hey, this is Jason, KO4DDG. Today we're going to play with Winlink a little bit. Check my email. We're going to be using the, our ATOS 120 for the antenna and a Yaesu 891 for the radio. We're going to be using that frequency. So let's get onto the computer screen. Let's go down to Vera HF, start her up. Launch a screen. It's going to ask you to update when you hit channel selection. Or right there. It's going to go through the internet and load all the MPS stations, RMS stations in your area and tell you what's the best one to connect to. It might take a minute, so stand by. Alright, so channel selection. Scroll all the way up until you see green. Using a Surface tablet in my truck here. If you want that? Select. Bring that up. Go down here. Bring that up. Your waterfall display. Show you what's happening. Right, wrong key. Wrong. Now we're back. So select X channel. Switch it over to that frequency. When you hit start, you can see down here, I'm trying to connect. I'm sending acknowledging, trying to get acknowledgement from the other station. This may or may not work. You see the tries is trying. It's on 11 to 15 now. But that didn't work, so we're going to select another band here. I got the channel selection. Let's try 20 meters. Select channel. Over to the Yesu hit tune. Standby. Well, now you can see it's tuning up to 20 meters now. Made everything happy. I'm gonna hit start. I'm gonna go through the process again and try to connect. Sending a request for an object. W5RMW. We're operating at about 100 watts. We are 18 wheel mobile. But we are sitting at a dock here in Decatur, Alabama. And check the band conditions, but 40 meters might be the only one getting out. Yeah, we're gonna have to check 40 meters. There, go to 40 meters, KN4CCQ, hit select channel, hit the tune button again, and we'll go through the process. Stand by again. All right, we're all tuned up. 40 meters, hit start again. There we go, we got some noise. I didn't even check QRZ to see if what the propagation was. All right, sending data so we have a station connection. It is 86 miles away. Save you the, the time here and pause it until it's asking me to download the messages. Now you can see down below signal noise ratio is in the green, negative 5.6 dB, so that's good. It's getting some messages there, it shows you a preview. 
So if you want to download or not, it's going to ask me to download three messages. Let's go ahead and hit download. There, let that RMS station know that you want those messages retrieved for you. You can deselect those and it will be saved in the system until you want to come back later. So in a nutshell, that is WinLink using RMS with the ASU 891 and the ATOS 120A. Catch us again when we do something more interesting. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like my content. 7-3 for now, my friends.